What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman. Now, as I'm sure some of you saw yesterday, we got a ton of leaked Miss Marvel set photos. In fact, from two separate sources, which is interesting, and we're going to get to that, as well as a leaked video on set of Miss Marvel's headquarters, which we'll also review. And one thing was undeniable among all of these photos, actual Easter eggs for one in particular, Captain Marvel, one a little more noticeable than the other. We're going to break down all of the leaked set photos and reveals, including one confirmed casting, and everything else we learned yesterday about the upcoming Disney Plus series, which is well underway filming. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're still giving away this insane one fourth scale Beta Ray Bill, as well as our third and final Infinity Saga box set. If you want to be entered to win, all you have to do, grab the subscribe button, then leave a like and a comment down below. And if you want, stick around at the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So first up, alongside all of the leaked set photos, we also got this set footage of Circle Q, which if you're not familiar, is the Miss Marvel headquarters. Unfortunately, this footage didn't catch any sort of action scene and there's not too many other things in the shot, but you can clearly see there the headquarters and what's in front of it. Well, take one more look here. It's sort of hard to tell if that's just a camera truss or even sort of looks like a tank. Now, I won't get into any speculation as we can't confirm and I guess there's not going to be any huge reveals this early in the show. It is interesting though that we were able to get this leaked set footage the same way we got some from Spider-Man and Black Widow and Shang-Chi, it's almost as if this is how Marvel is choosing to do their viral marketing is actually let set photos get released. Speaking of which, we had, as I mentioned in the prologue, two separate groups of set photos leak out, the first of which we can show you, the second of which I'm definitely going to have to link in the description because of copyright clauses. Now this is obviously watermarked, we're safe here. This is Amani playing Miss Marvel dressed as Captain Marvel. Now you'll clearly see on the back, she's got two stunt ropes attached to her back and the guy that she's talking to, who is the confirmed casting now, and we're going to get to that. You can see the wires leading away from him up towards the back as well. And then those two same wires that are harnessed to her back, you can see in this next part of the scene are used to raise her up so that she can come off the top of his helmet, I guess onto the roof. Either way, it sort of looks like she's already gotten her powers by this point and maybe without really knowing who she is or what she is and in an attempt to sort of emulate who is her version of a superhero, Captain Marvel, who she looks up to, she's emulating her costume here over her. Now, obviously that is easy to see with the mohawk and the colors, there's no question, but in some other leaked set photos, again, that I'm gonna leave a link down in the description to where they're hosted on the internet. The guy who takes those pictures, the company Just Jared, does not mess around when you use their leaked set photos. I don't wanna risk a copyright strike, but she has on a green jacket that looks like an Air Force jacket, something again that maybe Captain Marvel would wear, and on it, the same logo that you see in Captain Marvel's arm. So there's obviously here an affinity for Captain Marvel already. And whenever she first taps into her powers, whether she knows of her origin and or the Inhumans, it seems as though what she'll immediately do is recreate herself in the image of her idol, which is very obviously Captain Marvel. Now, speaking of her friend in this photo and understanding her power set, as confirmed by Charlie Murphy over at Murphy's Multiverse, explaining that very obviously from all of these leaked set photos, photos now that Matt Lintz is playing none other than Bruno Corelli and Bruno Corelli if you're not familiar with this character as he goes on to report given the familiarity of these two in the photos Lintz is quite obviously playing the role of Bruno Corelli a friend and trusted confidant of Kamala Khan. Corelli, a humble employee of Circle Q, remember that's the headquarters that we saw in the very first leaked video right after the prologue in this video, is one of the only people to know the secret of Kamala's alter ego as well as possessing a genius level IQ of 170, serving as an asset to Kamala while she's out fighting crime. Think of him as Spider-Man's Ned, the guy in the chair. That's exactly what's going on in this instance. Now, as I mentioned, and very peculiar, that Marvel would let some of these set photos leak, that we'd get leaked set photos from two separate sources on the same exact day. What's even more curious is that we got warning they were coming from Atlanta filming another account that gives us a ton of leaks, gave us the heads up the night before and said we'd be getting a ton of Miss Marvel set photos. It's just curious to me that there was so much knowledge of these and that they're all coming out at the same time, all these same reveals. Again, it's almost as if Marvel knows it's happening and is okay with it. I don't want to say that they're letting it happen as their own viral marketing scheme, but it is a way to keep these shows in the press without having to do anything official or make any official announcements. And remember, 
They still hadn't told us what was going on with WandaVision until last week. There's no way they're going to talk about series that don't even have a release date already attached. That's just going to make them sort of have to hold to something whether they want to or not. Now one final thought I'll leave you with as we push forward on shows like this. I do want to make mention because I saw it in the comments in a couple of places. They thought that maybe she was wearing a Halloween costume the same way that we saw Halloween during the WandaVision television show. I, I don't think that's what's going on in these photos. Again, it's very clear clear that her superhero of choice, her idol, is Captain Marvel. And I think what's going to happen is when she immediately gets these powers and not being able to make her own uniform, she's just going to emulate everything she does, including this first uniform, after Captain Marvel. And eventually, somewhere throughout the series, obviously she's going to get her costume. Let's remember, guys, they never quite end up with their final threads early in the show. They got to start off somewhere. This is probably just the first iteration, something she can do on her own before she learns the ins and outs of what's going on and before somebody gives her her own look, which again will happen at some point during the show. The other thing that stuck with me just from seeing these set photos, and we sort of knew it going in, but it's now that we're seeing it, it's, it's real. This is going to be an entirely kid cast, and as we've talked about the Young Avengers coming up in the MCU, this really solidifies it. These are just kids who are playing these roles, and it's going to be interesting to see Disney sort of curtail their own narrative. They won't be kids forever. Eventually, they'll grow up and come together in this team, but to see how young that Imani looks just in these photos, and to think about the fact that eventually Spider-Man could join up with them in some way. I know there's been reports of Miles Morales actually joining the Young Avengers instead of Tom Holland, but it definitely makes Tom Holland feel like the elder statesman, right? Tom Holland would be to these kids as, well, maybe Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man was to Tom Holland's Peter Parker. It's like he's such an older kid, even though he's so young compared to the rest of the Avengers. He's like an old man compared to these kids. It's it's quite the disparity. And now that we see all these kids live on set, it's it's real. Let me know all your thoughts down below, guys. How hype are you for Miss Marvel in general? And do you agree with me? It's just a little odd. We get a ton of leaks from all separate sources, but all on the same day. What are your thoughts about that? And quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away this insane 1 4th scale XM Studios Beta Ray Bill. All you have to do to be entered to win is hit the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. That'll automatically enter you to win. Our third and final Infinity Saga box set we'll be giving away on New Year's Eve. Again, if you want to be entered to win either of the prizes or any of the other stuff we have coming up, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button to make sure you're a subscriber, then leave a comment down below because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of the videos the same way we're doing here. And if you've missed any of the winner announcements, no worries. All you have to do is scroll back through the channel, look for the winner announcement in the sub count in the title, click on that video and scroll to the end. My name is Michael Roman. This is everything always, guys. Thanks so much for checking out the channel and stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.